watching the street on a rather cloudy, foggy morning here in Toronto. We're going to take a look at what are some of the things that men on the go might want to have to keep themselves on point for the winter season. Joining us now is Todd Shapiro. He's Master of Ceremonies for the Gentlemen's Expo, which is about to get going in Toronto. Good to have you here with us. Um, what is this expo all about? Why would men want to wander down and see how they could be better? Is this grooming? This is accessories? These are the types of things we're talking about? Yeah, well, it's more than just grooming and accessories. We have a $5 million car down there from, from, uh, from Restoration Garage. We also have anything from fine scotches, bourbons, whiskeys. We, we have it all, really. It's more than just beer, wings, and pizza. It's not a man show like that. It's uh, nice clothes from, say, a, a pavilion like Top Style is down there. Uh, New Age.ca is a, is a um, booth that's going to be down there where you order anything from big plasma screens to toaster ovens online. It's uh, all about convenience for dudes these days. So instead of going to a big box store and wasting a couple hours on a weekend, come right down to the convention, learn about convenience, order it, get to your, get to your home the next day. Marketers love younger men. The 18 to 34 demographic uh, is very, very popular. What kind of age, slice of the age uh, demographic are you aiming for? Yeah, I think we're predicting that, of course, we'll have those 18 to 34 adults we talked about. Um, but you know what? We're looking for just like minded, positive thinking males. And it's just because you're over 50 doesn't mean you can't come down to the Gentleman's Expo. And truly, what we're thinking and hoping for is just to have that, a gentle man, not like the old school gentleman with the you know planning in the back rooms and trying to take over the world. We just want guys to come on down there, have a good time. It's funky, eclectic. It's not necessarily all conventional these days, but let's have a mix of both. We don't. We're not exclusionary. Um, it's going to be very diverse, and really, we want we want women to come down as well. Hmm. As you pick up uh, various gifts for people, and tell us a little bit about. Uh, we talk a lot about beer companies, spirits companies, and so on. Um, a friend of mine, and he'll know if he's listening, uh, likes to talk about what type of brown they're going to be having, which I'm assuming means whiskey, Scotch whiskey, and so on. Liquor trends have changed. It is not as much about beer and so on. And, and whiskey, I guess, is something you're going to profile. Yeah, it? definitely. We have Macallan down there. We have a high standard. Typically, drinking and alcohol and booze, it's not to get drunk. It's a conversation piece these days. So you want to learn about the rubies, the ambers, the colors, the finish, the mouth, the nose, all that sort of stuff. And really, education is power, and, and knowledge is power. So when you're at a dinner party and you can speak about what you're drinking, what you're consuming. It's, uh, I think women kind of like that too, so. It makes it sound good. Yeah. <laughs> People will be able to have a taste of the scotch down there? There, yes, I think we are very proud to say there's some sampling going on, so yeah. <laughs> We're very excited by that. What are some of the other big trends? Talk, let's talk about what you might call top five trends. Yeah, I, I mean, other than obviously the alcohol that's down there, we all love that. Um, men these days aren't afraid to put on men's products, such as creams, hair gels, uh, taking care of themselves from manis to petties. Uh, we're going to be doing that down there. We're, it's a new day and age. We, we, uh, we're not behind closed doors putting that stuff on, trying to look good for, for our ladies or for our partners. We, we really um, are proud to say that Dove's going to be down there, products like Arbonne are going to be down there. So come down and, and just sample that stuff, purchase that stuff down there as well. The makeup people here at BNN are forever on me to put moisturizer on every day for months, so that the point is well taken. What are some of the other things that uh, we'll see down there? Yeah, well, again, anything from great clothes. I, I mentioned golf style earlier. Um, people are dressing these days very differently. You can put on a great suit top and then a tie with jeans and, and maybe runners. You can uh, wear uh, beautiful shoes and then uh, mix it up with a, with a fedora. So uh, scarves are in these days. So we want to show men that you can dress. It's not just your typical khakis and blue blazers anymore. How about gadgets? Men yeah. love gadgets. Yeah, men definitely love gadgets. Uh, again, gadgets. To, well, we do love our gadgets. Um, we have New Egg down there again. But in terms of gadgets, it's not just what's the latest new phone. And, and I mean, there is going to be Xbox One and the new PS4 launch is going to be down there. So we're excited by that. Actually, John Jones, the UFC fighter, is going to be down there uh, promoting all that kind of stuff in the New Egg booth. So yeah, gadgets will be down there. And in terms of specifics, you got to come down and check it out. And again, the most important thing is there are going to be people educating about this stuff, not just pushing on you. Okay. All right. So you can roll up your pant legs, have a mani with some brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good You can have a great time. You can buy a weekend pass. And I think one of the important things to note about the Gentleman's Expo at the Metro Toronto Convention Center is $5 of every ticket is going to Movember. So we're very proud of that. We're giving back. And uh, we're also setting... The world's, we're trying for the, the world record for the most mustaches in one room on Sunday. So if you're participating in November, come on down, be a part of that world record. Can you guys guess who might have had the most mustaches in one gathering before?
before with what specific celebrity? Mm, Chewbacca. <laughs> no, Tom Selleck. <laughs> Boom, Tom Selleck, <laughs> Magnum P.I. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for coming in, Jerry. Thank you so much for having me, Paul. Yeah, thank you. Todd Chikaris, Master of Ceremonies at the Gentlemen's Expo. Coming up, the Iran nuclear talks resume today.